Welcome back. Great scrap in the featherweight division to start our main card. This tale of the tape is brought to you by Back for Blood, available now, rated M4 Mature. Nate Landwehr out of Tennessee is seven years older than the Slovak Ludovic Klein. Two inches taller is the American Landwehr. The reach is just about the same on each side. Setting the table inside the octagon tonight is Joe Martinez. And all five fans, we are set to go with our fight tonight. Three rounds this in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a boxer standing five feet, seven inches tall. Weighing in officially 145 and one half pounds. In 20 fights, his record stands at 17 victories with three defeats. Fighting out of Nove Zamki, Slovakia. Here is Ludovic, Mr. Highlight Klein. Yes. And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist stands five feet, nine inches tall. He too weighed in 145 and one half pounds and holds a record of 14 victories with four defeats. Fighting out of Miami, Florida by way of Clarksville, Tennessee. Here is Nate the Train Landwehr. And your referee in charge of the action is Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment for these featherweights. The lovely Brittany Palmer is with us here at the UFC Apex. Luciana as well. Five fight main card coming your way. And no better way to open it than Nate Ready. the Train Ready. and Ludovic Mr. Highlight. This fight clock is brought to you by Back for Blood. Available now. Rated M4 Mature. Klein is the heavy favorite in the blue. Nate Landwehr, your dangerous underdog in the white. Yeah, I think Klein is definitely the more technical of the two, but when it comes to just, I don't know, being a savage in there, being an animal, just loving to fight and getting covered in blood, I don't think there's anyone better than Nate Landwehr when it comes to that. You know, but that's all well and good because he does like to brawl and he, he does come, come alive in those moments. I was talking about his fight with Darren Elkins, which was quite the spectacle, you know, but... We're not here to brawl, we're here to win fights, you know, and that's what Nate needs to focus on here. He needs to focus on, you know, yeah, you want to put on a show, which he always does. He'll be going to come away victorious, and he hasn't always done that. So, of course, maybe feeling a little pressure coming into this one. Both fighters, Florida trained for this fight. Ludovic Klein has made his camps at Sanford MMA, still lives in his native Slovakia but came out for an extended two-month trip to Florida to train for this matchup. And Nate Landwehr training out of MMA Masters down in Miami. And Sanford MMA, just one of the best places to train right now. I mean, the training partners that they have, the coaches, the facilities, a really smart move by Ludovic to go there. Potentially huge week for Slovakian mixed martial arts as Klein makes his start on Saturday in his third UFC appearance here. His friend Martin Budai fought on Dana White's Contender Series this past Tuesday, got a knockout win and a UFC contract. Klein is controlling this fight so far. Those left high kicks are good. The left straight landed a couple of seconds ago. He was controlling the clinch up until right now. So, so far so good, but we're only two minutes in. Nate looks like he's waiting for the perfect opening, you know, and sometimes there isn't a perfect opening. You've got to create it, you've got to find it, you've got to force it sometimes. Dana White's Contender Series has just a few weeks left to go this season. Watch the future of the sport. Compete in front of Dana White and the matchmakers to earn a UFC contract. Live action every Tuesday this fall at 8 Eastern, exclusively on ESPN+. There's a speed difference when they throw those high kicks. Ludovic comes with a lot. Just, just way faster speed. It's way sharper and more powerful. Heads up, heads up. 
See, that's nice. Keep him guessing. Go to the body, go to the head. Take it downstairs, come up through the middle with a front kick. And then with the hands. And they caught him there on the exit, caught him with that right hand. Look at the eyes of Landwehr. You think he's locked in, man? Yeah, no, I know. I was looking at that. I mean, it's, it's he's locked in for sure, but he looks like he's a little stressed, you know? It's a little sensory overload by the looks of it. It's like, calm down a little bit. I remember when I was training my coach, you've got to control the emotions on your face as well, you know? Oh, that's right a good cross, shot. Biggest strike of the fight from Nate to train. That'll calm down the anxiety. Heavy leg kick as well. Under a minute to go first round. See the cut over the left eye of Landwehr. Doesn't appear to be flowing too bad. Yeah, nothing particularly flush has landed just yet. I mean, both guys, I mean, they're, they're almost a mirror image of one another. Orthodox and Southpaw, both throwing body kicks, occasionally throwing the backhand. Landwehr leads the dance. Klein caught the target with a few of those. Landwehr yeah, swinging nice. big in the final 10. Oh, guy landing here. Heavy action to end round one. Round two coming up. That way, brother. That way. Nate, here, Nate, here, Nate. Right here. Give me a more piece and breathe. Hey, he's ready for that right hand, bro. You've been patient, right? He's, he's getting lazy, bro. He's leaving those, these lunging strikes out, all right? We don't need that, all right? If he lunges for the, for the left hand, then you catch him with the right, all right? Use that, that jab to set him up. Throw it off, throw the hook, and then bring the right hand down the pipe, all right? Bring that right hand down the pipe. It's ready to be let go. To push against the cage, you use a dirty box, and you're doing good that yes, okay? He doesn't like when you put him there. All right. Keep Maybe. showing them the kicks because you're showing them something different. Keep but then after up. you put that foot down, throw the right hand. Keep your hands up the whole time. Move your head. You're doing good. You're right. Thank you, Coach. It's second time. Right knee is there. One week after the ESPN Plus special presentation of UFC 267, right, it's an right, epic right. pay-per-view event. UFC 268 features the rematch. Kamaru Usman, Colby Covington for the welterweight championship. Plus, two-time strawweight champ Thug Rose Nama Yunus defends the throne against Zhang Weili. UFC 268 is Saturday, November 6th from the world's most famous arena in New York City. Available for purchase only on ESPN Plus. Ooh. Oh, nice. Head kick caught the target. Ludovic Klein opening up here. Yeah, at the end of that round, Nate Landwehr came alive, landed some good shots, did his best work. But again, he's back to letting Ludovic lead the dance. Landwehr surviving. Short elbow landed from Klein in the clinch. <laughs> Landwehr was the busier fighter in the first round, striking wise, but significant strikes are just about dead even. Nine minutes into the fight. Yeah, it, it was a very, very close round as well. I mean, Ludovic got off to the best start, but it ended with Landwehr doing a lot of damage right at the end of the round. And in the clinch, in terms of grappling ability, seems very even as well. Both guys having a little bit of success here and there, but then they countered, you know. Very evenly matched fight between the two of them. Oh, oh nice right hand. Yeah, right cross from Landwehr. You see there's some swelling below the right eye of Landwehr. 
These two have some familiarity with each other. Landwehr, despite being from Tennessee, did a lot of fighting over in Europe. And won a champion in the past and fought a teammate of Ludovic Klein in the past. So they knew what he was about. That was a beautiful combination there by Ludovic. Needs more of that. Nate came forward, got in the pocket. It was like a 4-5 oh. punch. And there it is again with that uppercut. Keep an eye out for that uppercut. That's a money shot for him. That's the shot that he knocked out. Um, Shane Young with, and he's looking forward in this fight here. He's landed it twice now. Land where landed flush several times there. He had foot on the gas pedal, sensing a potential finishing opportunity. And I think Klein's trying to recover here. Land where going on the offensive. That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, Klein needs to stop doing that. He's playing the game where you put your hand on the floor, so therefore you can't be needing the head. But when you're doing that, you know, you're focusing more on that stuff rather than the guy that's trying to knock you out. And he's locking in a submission wow. here. And this could be close. He's got it in deep. He's got to get on his side. And he's got to try and get Ludovic on his side as well. The angle's a little off for Landwehr here. Yeah, he'll try to swing the uh, legs around and trap that right arm. Because the arm needs to be down towards the face. So you see the arm that's with his, uh, his left arm that's going over Nate. And he's trying to come on top of him a little bit, let it go, or lost the grip. Klein able to defend and return to his feet. Now nice Landwehr playing defense along the fence. Shows an improvement from Nate Landwehr though. I mean, I'm yep. sure he can do that. You know, you know, he's known that move for a while, but he's doing it in the UFC. Wobbled him there with a good shot. Well, Landwehr has either been in crazy back and forth exchanges that ended in the first round or just an absolute slugfest against Darren Elkins. This one, he's definitely showing his well-rounded game better than he has since joining the UFC. Yeah, he just looks more composed. You know, in the past, it has been reckless. Whoa, that was a fast kick. Just skimmed the top of the head. Oh, oh spinning elbow after Landwehr went in with the right cross. Back along the fence. Tie clinch and now tries the neck. That's nice shots. This is good work. He's hurt. That right hook hurt him there. Nate's gonna pour on the pressure. Don't let him off the hook. Oh. Now we're talking. I mean, this one just turned into a barn burner that we expected yeah. in round two. It took its time, but now we're there. The train has arrived. Big right. Nice knee. You saw the look on the face of Klein there. See, that's the thing, though, about Landwehr. When he finds his rhythm, when he gets on a roll, he will not let you off the hook. It is non-stop offense. And if you're Klein, you're like, well, just back off. Oh, back off a second. Let me breathe. It's third round coming. Hey, put some ice on his back. Get some ice on his back. Okay. He's done. Uh, he's throwing high kicks. I want to keep the right hand in yeah. there. And when you put a hand in the cage, sometimes he's throwing elbows and knees. All right? We're going to play the same game. Intelligent, wait for the right time to finish this guy. You're going to finish him. Yep. Hey, keep bulldogging him against the cage, Nate. Keep bulldogging him against the cage. Hey, don't throw from, from your back to the cage. Get to the middle first and then throw. All right, walk him down to the middle of the ring. Be the bigger man, Nate. Be the bigger man, Nate. So here's some of those shots that Nate was landing at the end of the round. There's a good combination. There's a good straight right, gets his attention. The, the round ended with a lot of momentum for Nate Landwehr. Let's see how he picks up. Huge second round from Nate Landwehr. Back and forth first round from each fighter. Landwehr is out landing Klein and really started pulling away in that second round. Yeah, I'd say it's 1-1 coming into the third. One round apiece. 
Live odds tell an interesting story. Ludovic Klein opened the fight or started the fight as a minus 380. He's now plus 310. Landwehr turning the tables on those numbers. Yeah, well, in the corner of Landwehr, they were saying, be the bigger man. Go out there and force your will on him. And what they mean by that is just get in the face and go for it. Because when he does that, when he just throws caution to the wind, oh, be careful. Don't throw too much caution. Uh, but when he does that, he's having success. Of course, you've got to be careful. You've got to be respectful. You've got to make sure you don't walk onto those kind of shots. But still, that's his key to victory here, to just turn it into a... a, a, a What's the word I'm looking for? Calculated slugfest. Calculated slugfest. You read my mind. There you go. Read Dean, it. Dean Thomas, a lot to like here. Yeah, well, you know, I don't even know how calculated that slugfest has to be. He had so much momentum going in from the last round. He needs to keep that momentum and just start putting pressure. Just turn it ugly, make it ugly, because, because Klein doesn't look like he likes a dogfight. He likes to keep it from space, and he's very technical. They where needs to just come in, make it a dogfight like that, yep. and just keep it going. Trust your chin and go for it. That's what Landwehr's back to doing right now. And, and Dean is oh. absolutely right, because Landwehr loves the dogfights. That's where he thrives. That's where he really comes alive, you know? And, he, and it's a good option observation by Dean because I, I don't think he does like the slugfest. He likes, you know, Klein likes the, 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 the technical Mr. Approach, Highlight, you know, right? The, the yeah. take it easy, look for the perfect setups. Nice job by Landwehr to defend that takedown and end up on top in dominant position. He's in the driver's seat with three minutes to go. Some try this submission in round number two. He'll give it another go. This is a better angle. Also, he's more tired. And when you're tired, yep. you can't... Oh, is that Ram ready to is. tap? There it is. There it is. Nate the Train Landwehr. Back and forth. And a third round submission. What an effort. I was just going to say, when you're tired and somebody's choking you out, it's harder to resist. Round two, he got away with it. Round three, yeah, obviously he's taking more shots, taking more damage, and he's shorter of breath. And even though it wasn't, you know, technically 100% perfect, it was enough to cause the squeeze, restrict the oxygen, and get the tap. And it was actually Klein that forced the takedown, but he defended it nicely. And you see, he's got that wizard. He rolls it underneath the chin there. You grab hold of the bicep with the other hand. There it is, got the bicep. He's got it kind of locked in there. You want him on the side, he's trying to hook up that leg. Rolls down to his side there, and you can see, you can see the head's already starting to go a little bit red. He has to get flat on his back. He's trying to defend, but he's exhausted, he's tired, and he's getting choked out. And now we got topped out. Well, just showed you the uh, live odds, but he cashes that plus 300 ticket for those who had him at the beginning of the fight. We'll hear from Nate the Train when we come back. Yes, man. Chilling. 